Alright everybody, it is Daz Ran Trio Tree and I've got an unboxing video for you. It's something I don't do too much on my channel, but I made a couple of purchases recently to better my uh, YouTube channel, I guess, overall and live streams and stuff. So I'm going to bring you through a couple of things that I bought, um, maybe give some reasons why I bought these products and just show you what it's like out of the box. So let's have a look and see. Alright, let's get this started. Okay, so first of all, we've got a package here. Now, this is the Razer, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, Typass. <laughs> it's a mouse. It's basically a mouse. It's an ambidextrous one because I am left-handed. Yes. So, uh, this has got 8,200 DPI. I hear that's a good thing for PC gamers, so... Uh, we're gonna unbox this, excuse me, we're gonna unbox this really quick, so let's do it. Oh, it's a mouse. Hmm. Don't you hate this part of unboxing, like, even watching them on YouTube, it's like, come on, just open the seal, what's wrong with you? I always find brute, brute force helps. Get open! <laughs> Packaging is quite nice, I just destroyed it though, so... You don't have to do that, but just for the purposes of this video. Okay, so, looks really cool. I've never, I've, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm new to the whole PC gaming side of things. Uh, but this does look rather special. Okay, let's get rid of the packaging out of the way. Some nice little pictures. The box is pretty lovely. I don't know if you can see that there. Can I find, find the hard to locate the camera. Okay. A couple of manuals in here as well. The Razer Guarantee. Okay, so here we go. This is the mouse. So the instantaneously I noticed that, you know, it's obviously it's USB, right? But it's got this weird like ropey uh, cable. It's so strange. I've never seen a mouse to have a ropey cable before. But um, that's it. That's the Razer. I'm not going to be able to plug it in. Uh, there you go. Let's see if we can catch some light on this. On this mouse. Can you see that there? Can you see that? That's the underneath. Ah, here you are. Okay, I've located my camera, thankfully. Alright, so that's the mouse. It's got a lovely little thing here little mouse wheel, it's also, you can click it in and it's got two buttons above it and on each side it's got two really nice silver buttons so I've been looking for a mouse with buttons on the side because I normally rest my thumb on this side this is my left hand again so I have access to two buttons here so for instance on Call of Duty I might map one of them to knife because I seem to get knifed a lot <laughs> so one of them is going to be my knife, the other button is probably going to be my flash but in case I want other easy access to buttons here, there's two over on the other side as well, on the right side, so... Um, instead of leaving my right finger not doing anything over here, I could be pressing buttons here as well, so... Maybe some C4, putting down some uh, motion sensors or claymores, perhaps. So, really cool, really happy with this. I'm uh, gonna plug it in and toy around with this. I'm gonna have to toy around with the whole uh, DPI thing. I hear that's supposed to really help with PC gameplays and accuracy and whatnot. It's got this really cool front. It's got like two grills over here Which is quite strange. I don't know if you can see that with the light. Hopefully you can. But um, yeah, that is the Razer Typass. I hope it's called. If not, oh well. Right, the next product is the Corsair headset. I went for this because I needed a headset for my PC. I am continuously plugging out my Turtle Beach headset from over there. Uh, it's hooked up to a laptop because that laptop records all console gaming. I record all my Wii U gaming over there and I like to keep my headset over there as opposed to you know, continuously plugging it out and plugging it in. It will damage the connections and all the rest of it, so you're not supposed to plug in and out things too much. So this is the Corsair Vengeance 1500 7.1 gaming headset. Ooh. Immersive, intensive, online gaming. Get a life. Alright, so let's unbox this. Oh, it's a headset. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay. Wow. Alright, this looks nice. I saw some images of this on the inside. It looks like it's going to be a nice, comfortable headset. Again, it's got a kind of... Um, yeah, it's a very ropey cable. Uh, which is really cool. It feels heavy enough. Uh, heavier than my Turtle Beach PX21. Um, but maybe it's heavier because it's better quality or something. It's got two buttons now. I don't know about this. Um, I was reading reviews on this on the internet. Apparently it's got two buttons for volume up and down. And I don't know what that's going to be like. Because usually I'm used to a dial. Now instant, instantly I, I think that's going to be quite handy. Because with the dial on the PX21... Uh, I used to brush off that by accident and turn the game volume down, so at least with these buttons you have to press them in, and, you know, so. Uh, it's got a mute button here as well, which is nice and clickable. Uh, but that's it, that's it for the little connection there. It is again a USB headset. And we have got a fabulous looking headset here. It feels quite heavy. It feels like it's really strong pushing inwards. Uh, a lot of pressure. Um, I'm not sure how these extend. Here we go here. Just between the uh, where the black meets the silver, it extends so it fits. It fit. It fits small to large heads. Uh, the cups look really cool. I don't know if you can see the material, but it's like a really plush, teddy-like material. That might be nice and comfortable, but then again, I don't. Know, I'm not sure. Don't know how it would be for extended periods, guys. I don't think headsets are made to be played, you know, for you to play games for like 17 hours in one sitting, you know? Obviously a headset's going to be sore on your ears, so don't be buying headsets to protect your ears. It's it's how long you're playing them is what's causing the ear aches. <laughs> I think, personally. Um, there's the mouthpiece as well. Can you see that, Sonny? I'm kind of um, surprised that it's got... It's obviously got little holes here for the microphone piece, but it's also got holes on the outside of the microphone. I'm not sure what that's about. But um looks nice, smells new. I wish you guys could smell this with me, but yeah, awesome. Corsair Vengeance 1500. Now, um, I ordered these off Amazon.co.uk. I needed a headset for my uh, computer, my tower computer for PC gaming. And I also needed that mouse for first person shooter gaming because it's something I'm really getting into. Uh, it was a big package. And I was surprised to see this thing. I was like, okay, they must have put this in because they wanted to stop the boxes inside from slipping around. Now, I ordered the headset. I ordered the mouse on the same day. Um, it was in the morning time. And around night time, I decided to order this thing, right? Now, I've, I've, I've kind of had a look inside to see what it is because I wanted to see first. I was really excited <laughs> to see what... Did I get a surprise? So, um... I'll unbox it for you here, I guess. It's just a plain cardboard box. I thought it was just filler, you know? So I ordered another product, but I didn't expect it to arrive at the same time as my other two products because they were ordered on the same day, but it was like daytime and nighttime difference. So I expected it to be a day later, but here we go. I said, oh, wow, they sent me a, a case, but then I noticed the Microsoft thing. So I said, this can't be the product I purchased. So let's have a look. Unbelievable. I did not expect it to be that small. I ordered a webcam so I can do face cam gameplays a little easier for PC or even for my live streams. And this is tiny. I couldn't get over it. Could not get over it. There you go. There is a... Um, I don't even know what it's called. It's a Microsoft 1080p uh, HD sensor webcam. So there you go, it cost me 50 sterling. It is tiny, absolutely tiny. I was looking at the pictures of it and I was like, all right, it looks like one of those, it looks like a camcorder, it's huge. This thing fits in the palm of your hand. <laughs> uh, crazy, this thing is a really soft rubber, but it's not so soft that it will just like flap all over the place. It's kind of, it's got strength behind it, so you could clip it onto something, like you can make a, a straight edge easy, or you could flatten it out. So it does, it, it feels kind of uh, sturdy. And um, USB. It says Microsoft on the USB. There you go. So webcam, headset for PC, and uh, mouse for PC for my left-handed needs. So there you go, there's my purchases. Webcam. 
We got the Corsair Vengeance 1500. Get a life edition. And we got the Razor Type Pass. I got to mispronounce again. There you go. If I could plug it in, it would all light up and stuff. It's got the Razor logo here. But I'm really happy it's got the, the buttons here. I'm gonna figure out this DPI nonsense at some stage. Figure all that out and um, should be good to get some gaming for you guys. All right, thanks for watching the unboxing. Remember to like and favorite, you motherfucker.